Hey folks, so yesterday I shared a video about uh, Biden's order halting any civilian sales of overproduction of ammo from the Lake City Ammo Ammunition Factory. Uh, now, just to refresh everybody, the Lake City am Ammunition Plant is owned by the United States government to produce ammo for the U.S. military. However, it's run under contract by Winchester. Um, and part of the incentive for them to run the plant for the U.S. government was that they would get to sell any overproduction on the civilian market. Biden's order uh, instructed Winchester to halt all sales to the civilian market. Now, I yesterday I was talking about how this was a backdoor uh, gun control attempt, a way for them to tighten the stranglehold on, on people trying to exercise their Second Amendment rights because the one gun that the left hates, and, and they, don't get me wrong, they hate all guns that aren't owned by them or those that follow them, uh, hang on a second, folks, yeah had a little bug on the camera. Um, they hate all guns that's not owned either by themselves or by people that follow them. But the one gun they, ho they hate more than any other is the AR-15. And because Biden has introduced, or Biden's administration and the left have both introduced so many bills to try to restrict your Second Amendment rights um, to try to institute more gun control. And it doesn't look like many, if if any at all, really are going to uh, be successful in passing. There might be a couple that have a chance. It looks like this was a way for him to kind of restrict some control or restrict the ability to use an AR-15 by restricting the supply of the 223 or the 556 ammo, specifically the uh, M855 and the uh, SS109, the green tip, so-called armor piercing ammo. Um, anyway, that's the way I discussed it yesterday, that it was a, a backdoor gun control attempt. However, and I, I said this yesterday, that I'd had a long day, I was tired, I, um, it was late, and I just, I wasn't as focused as I would have liked to have been. Later on last night, I got to thinking more about it. And I thought of something that I hadn't thought of before and that I didn't include in that video. And I want to cover that now. Um, there could be another reason for cutting off the supply of green tip ammo. Now, obviously, I still believe that a backdoor attempt to restrict your use of the uh, AR-15 by restricting the availability of the ammo for it is still one of the uh, reasons for that order. But again, last night I thought about another possible reason. So it's almost like a, uh, a double barbed order, you might say. There's, there's two functions to this order, now that I think about it. First is the gun control. But over the past several months since Russia invaded Ukraine, uh, and even before that, we've seen a lot of saber rattling between uh, governments. We've seen uh, massive food shortages instituted, or aggravated, I should say, by lockdowns during the pandemic, uh, by severe weather, um, war in Ukraine, among other things. And what we're seeing and what we have been seeing and, and what we're going to continue to see is countries are are starting to really lock down on exporting any uh, food that they produce, particularly grains. 
we've seen it in India, we've seen it in China, we've, uh, Ukraine's not able to export anything because of the war. Uh, and multiple countries are halting any exports. They're banning exports of grains particularly, but food in general. Uh, sugar is another item that's recently been banned. I believe it was by India, if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken about that. We've been seeing a lot of that. And in addition to halting exporting food, their in countries are trying to import more. They're halting exports, but they're trying to import more. They're stocking food uh, amid the coming food shortage, the, the famine. Uh, and this is not just a mere food shortage. We're uh, walking into a, a famine. Uh, make no mistake about it. But we're seeing countries ex uh, ban exports, import more, they're stocking food, they're arming their militaries to the teeth, and they're positioning themselves all around the world strategically. Uh, for instance, Russia has uh, signed a treaty with Nicaragua, allowing Russia to Russian troops, ships, and uh, aircraft to enter the country under uh, law enforcement, humanitarian uh, support, and rescue missions and training exercises. Supposedly, uh, at least that's the the reasons being given. But they, it does specify that uh, law, uh, they're being allowed there for law enforcement purposes, in addition to the other, uh, as well as joint exercises. Um, so we're seeing that. We're seeing uh, the United States trying to expand uh, bases in Oceania. Uh, there, there's talk of that. We're seeing China look at starting a base or building a base in the Solomon Islands. Now, this is just rumor at this point. <sighs> Beijing is saying that they have no intention of doing this. The Solomon Islands are saying that they will not allow a Chinese base in their waters. Uh, Australia is saying it would be a hard red line for them, for China to build a base there. But there has to be reason for all of this talk, you know. If, if Beijing, if China has no intention of building a base there, there wouldn't be all this talk. And we've seen over the past few months an increasing amount of Chinese naval activity near Australia, which leads to the sus uh, suspicion that there is an intent there to possibly build a base in that area. Uh, I do believe Australia has agreed to create a nuclear naval base there with the United States. Um, and we, we've seen other incidences where Japan is, is trying to uh, militarize again. Uh, Taiwan is arming as fast as they possibly can. And you've just, you've got all of these countries that are essentially hoarding food because they know there's a an issue with the food supply that we're facing famine, but also this is the kind of thing that you would do before a, a global war. Countries would do this type of thing before going to war. You would stop exporting, you would start saving and stockpiling food, stockpiling material uh, that might be needed in a war effort. We're seeing multiple countries do this. It's not just Russia, it's not just the United States, it's not just China. Multiple countries are doing this. Uh, so I, I firmly believe, you know, the Pope came out not too long ago and he had written a book back in 2014 where he had predicted a piecemeal World War III. But he came back, uh, he, he came out in a discussion not too long ago where he stated that to him, uh, 
World War III has been already been declared. I believe that's a direct quote. Uh, so he's seeing, he's, his communication, his discussions with world leaders has led him to believe that World War III has already been declared. Uh, I would agree because right now you're seeing all these nations arm their militaries, they're expanding their militaries, they're increasing military spending. Uh, military resources are being shuffled about. Food is not being exported in the numbers it was. Most countries are restricting exports, while at the same time, either importing or stockpiling what they do have. Uh, and this might be the second reason for Biden's order to halt all sales of the uh, of the green tip ammo to civilians from the Lake City ammunition plant. Now, again, I still believe that one of the main reasons for this is to kind of exert some kind of control over the Second Amendment and your ability to exercise that uh, that right. But I believe it's a two-pronged uh, order. It's serving that purpose while at the same time they're taking everything that can be made in that plant and probably stockpiling it because they believe they being the government, the, the, the people in charge, uh, are expecting at any time to go to uh, a full kinetic war, direct war. Right now, we are fighting a, what I would call a cold World War III. Uh, it's a proxy war because we're sending weapons to Ukraine for Ukra Ukraine to fight against Russia, essentially for us. We're doing it under the guise of helping Ukraine but we're essentially fighting Russia by way of Ukraine. We're using them as a proxy. Um, however, China has made it clear that they will not tolerate any interference with Taiwan, while at the same time, um, the United States has made indications that they will defend Taiwan and support them militarily. Um, so we're edging closer and closer to a, an actual full out kinetic World War III. And I believe that with the risk of China invading Taiwan, and if the United States gets involved, China has already said they will retaliate. They will do whatever is necessary to protect their interests, um, which they consider Taiwan theirs, which is the whole re uh, the whole issue with Taiwan. They refuse to accept any uh, acknowledgement of Taiwan independence. So we're looking at fighting a, a world war on two fronts right there. You already see uh, countries taking sides. You know, Turkey's kind of riding the fence. Uh, India. Iran, Saudi Arabia, they've already picked sides. They're siding with Russia. Russia and China are, are kind of solidifying their, their friendship. I have no idea what that noise is. It's loud, whatever it is. Anyway, as I was saying, nations are picking sides. They're, they're strategically placing resources making moves that give every indication that um, the world is headed for a full-blown kinetic World War III. And I believe this is one of the second, or, or the second reason for Biden's ban on uh, civilian ammo cells from that plant. I believe they're stockpiling ammunition. Uh, I also believe that some of these food shortages that we're seeing, man, what in the world is that? Okay, sorry about that, folks. There's a loud noise going on at my neighbor over here somewhere. 
I'm not sure what's going on, but anyway, uh, what I was saying was I believe that to try to get my thoughts back on track, I believe that the order from Biden was partially to restrict the, uh, the availability of ammo so you would have trouble exercising your Second Amendment rights, but also to stockpile ammunition for what they and they as in the, uh, the administration and the, the people in charge see as a potential World War III kinetic direct war with Russia and possibly even China uh, coming. So they're, they're trying to stockpile ammunition for that. I also believe that the more that I think about it is that all of these shortages we're seeing a large portion of these are probably due to issues with uh, the supply chain, um, uh, inflation, people not wanting to work because there's a lot of places around me that are working and I'm seeing that are hiring and I'm seeing hearing a lot of reports of people not willing to work. Even good paying jobs, people are not willing to do them. So. I believe that there are some genuine supply chain issues exacerbated by the lockdowns, inflation, and the lack of parts and materials and uh, products being imported because the majority of our economy is imported, not, uh, not manufactured here. But I think that there's also the possibility that a portion of these shortages are caused by possibly the government buying up massive amounts of food and possibly stockpiling that for a war effort. So up till now I've been thinking that it was strictly inflation, material shortage, product shortages, food shortages, things like that. And I still believe that's the case to them to uh, for the biggest part. But also, I'm beginning to think also that there is a portion caused by the government trying to stockpile anything and everything it can in in preparation for a war effort. So continue prepping, folks. Continue stockpiling. Stack food as fast as you possibly can. We we do have a famine coming. Uh, and it's going to get worse. It, it's going to be easier on us here in the United States than it is in a lot of other places, but it's still going to be bad here. Things are going to be either completely unavailable, or if they are available, they're just going to be too expensive to buy. And I think it's going to be more of the latter than the former. Uh, the same goes with ammo because of this Biden order. Um, it's going to create scarcity. So... And I've heard a couple of people talk about this, about how back in World War II, ammo was unavailable due to the war effort. You know, everything ammo-wise was being sent overseas, produced and sent overseas. There was nothing available here. And the only reason people could hunt is because they had bought ammo before the war and they had that to, to uh, to make do with, to to basically last them for a little while anyway. So as much as I hate to be the, one of the ones to tell you, because I don't like to encourage people to panic shop. I don't like to encourage people to, uh, to make uh, product runs and hoard and all that stuff, but we know what's coming. High prices, not <laughs> prices, Man, it's been a long week. I, I am so sorry. High prices, shortages, product unavailability, limited products. Um, so I would strongly advise you should have been stacking ammo by now, before now. You should have been stacking food before now. But if you haven't, do it now. You've got to double down. Stack it as fast as you can. Food and ammo. Make sure you've got plenty of ammo for whatever guns that you have. Because if we do go into a full-blown World War III, where we have boots on the ground and planes in the air, 
in direct conflict with Russia or China, either one or both, then you're gonna see supplies here at home dry up. All right, so it's getting dark. I've gotta get up at three o'clock in the morning uh, to go to work. And my neighbors are getting ridiculously noisy, so I'm gonna call it right, right there. Anyway, that's, I just wanted to bring that to you because it's something I thought of last night after I uploaded my video and it's something I didn't cover and I wanted to cover it today. So that's all I've got. Just keep prepping, keep stacking, get ready folks. We have no idea what's coming and you just gotta pre prepare the best you can. Stack food, stack ammo for your guns. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe, stay alert, stay vigilant, take care of yourselves, take care of your families, watch your six, and stay aware of what's going on around you. With that, that's all I've got. Uh, I'll get some more videos out this weekend. Until next time, folks, take care. I'll catch you later.